This is one of the places I go to shop for baubles. Isn't it nice? There you go. Let's see what they got. You know what? That's okay. There's a few I'm things, but I don't see it, anything it. new as of late. Um, just for the right and um, you could come back and I'll, I'll try to get some coffee for this. Yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah. I wonder if that's a peyote bird. Actually, I do see some newer pieces. Some cold stone on there. So we'll take a look. Here's my bag of goodies from the thrift store. I really wanted to tape when I was in there, but I wasn't sure if I could, you know. So, we'll see what we got when I get home. And I got that pretty little shirt over there. Woohoo! Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I'm happy to be back with you. I just went to the thrift store and bought a couple things, so I thought I would share what I bought. I haven't looked at them yet, not closely, so how about we take a look? I tried to pick out some vintage items. And some of them, I think, have a marking on them. But we'll have to have a look. This is cool, isn't it? Looks like it's acrylic. There I go, already fiddling with my lights. But I have to, so you can see. So it looks to be acrylic with all these crystals in it. It's very cool. Never really seen an acrylic ring before. You know, we're going to bring Miss Prissy out and see what she says about things. Miss Prissy, what are you doing with your eyelashes today? Okay. Oops, we're a little tangled. Okay, come on, girl. So I'm expecting they're glass, but if they go a little bit higher than glass, they could be cubic zirconias, which would be nice. But it's going to be hard to test because they're little teenies. Yeah, they're going pretty high on glass. And they do have a really nice sparkle to them. So I kind of had a feeling they were cubic zirconias. But what a cool ring. I have no idea what it is. Feels like heavy acrylic. Oh, let me test the stone on the top. That's glass, so faceted glass on the top. And I hope I can get a really close up because all of the stones are faceted. On the facet they're <laughs> they're all prong set which is kind of unusual i would think with a acrylic ring that they would just be glued in but they're not they are prong set can you see how those little black prongs whoa my camera's freaking out are actually wrapped around the stone come on baby so pretty cool pretty cool it is, I guess, not quite an eight because you want to be safe, right? So that's a neat piece. Put that up there. This was cute because I saw this before and I told the lady that it was a Monet and that she should mark it as one and she did. She wrote Monet on it, which is so sweet, but she didn't bring her price up. I said, that's a nice piece. You should put the name Monet on it and then bring your price up but she didn't she didn't raise her price so I got it oh these are little buggers to get off aren't they those little tags so we have an acrylic Monet piece gold tone with some really pretty textured chain on the back and I love that little quality ball bead on there and let's see, where does it say Monet? Because I know it said it somewhere. Oh, here on the hang tag. So right there. So I like that. I think that's a good deal. For $3, a nice black vintage Monet with the gold beads in between. So I got that. And I got this brooch. I thought I saw something written on this too, so we'll have to see gold tone with the pearl in it 
don't know if it's real pearl, but look how it's made with layers like that. That's super cool. Looks nice. Let's see what it says. It says Forstner 120th 12 karat gold filled. Forstner. Wow, that's a nice pin for a couple dollars. 120th 12 karat gold filled. Beautiful. Needs a little cleaning inside, I think, but I'll see what I can do with that. That is so sweet. Great. What did I pay? Where's that ticket? Three bucks. Yay. Okay, what about this one? It's a really pretty little brooch, silver tone. I thought it was nicely done with the cute little leaves. Let me see if it says anything, or we'll just... Oh, the leaf just fell off. You're kidding me. Couldn't it have fallen off, like, in the thrift store? Why did it have to wait till I got home till it falls off? That's a bummer. Hmm, I don't know what I'll do. I can't take it back, but... Maybe I'll try to put the leaf back on, or... Like, you pin it here, but you're not seeing the the flower. Something's not right with that. Well, I guess I should have looked better. Okay, $2. That one's a little bomb. And look at this pretty baby. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the sparkle on it. Silver tone. I don't think I saw anything in it. Well, actually, I did see something, but I don't know what I saw. It says, like, 3 slash C. Don't know what that means. But we could see if it's a cubic. It's really sparkling. And this pen is all twisted. So what we got? Oh, it's definitely going past the glass. So it's a cubic zirconia. Or could any stone be in that area? It's really, it looks silver. The color of the stone looks very silver. But as you can see, it is crazy sparkling with, with all kinds of fire. So if you guys know what that would be, it measures like a cubic zirconia. But wow, isn't that nice? Let's see what it would look like. Well, Sorry, I need to zoom out, and I'm trying to do that slowly. Let me see how it looks on myself. Ooh, nice. By the way, I got this one. Did I get that at a thrift store the other day, I think? Yes, that's quite a thrift store haul. I can't wait to show you guys that one. And this is a vintage sterling, because it says sterling in it. I think I'm going to wear that glitter baby while I'm doing this. I just don't want to lose my other ring. Okay, see what else we got. So today I had an appointment, and then on the way home I stopped at the post office. I think I'm going to make a little short of me at the going to the post office. My son's been telling me I should do that. So I recorded a couple of clips, and I think I'll put them together and see what happens. I wonder if that's a 1928 with that decoration on the back. 1928 brand earrings? What do you think? They're beautiful. And it looks like there's two marca sites on it, along with the purple glass stone. Well, let's see if it is glass. It's glass. I'm not going to drag Miss Prissy over every time, but. So I got those. A couple dollars. What have we got in here? She has Swarovski written on this bag. And like I was telling you guys, when I'm in the thrift store, I don't bring my loop because I don't want people to think, you know, I don't know, there's this big buyer here and then they don't give me the right price. But I did see something on it. And if I see a mark, I tend to grab it because I don't know if that's a maker name or could say Sterling. So now that I'm home, we can have a look and see what it is. In other words, if it has a mark, I tend to buy it. 
<clears throat> so she said this is Swarovski. Crystals are gorgeous. These are screw back earrings. Do they? Sometimes they move like this too, but these do not. So that means they're a little bit older. And let's see what it says. It says Sterling. It says D like dog, B like berry. And the word Sterling. I don't know about Swarovski being the letter DB, but Sterling Silver, that's gorgeous. I'm excited about that. Wow. Really pretty. And those were what, two, three dollars? Oops, yeah, they're definitely a super nice crystal. So, another home run. I like that. This I got because it had a name on it, had a tag, and I could always use signed pieces. So I had her take it out of the cabinet and she had a little magnifying glass. So I did see that this is a Sarah Coventry, which is great. It's in good shape with the spring ring clasp, Sarah Coventry name, and it's in beautiful shape. And look at that cute little stone in the middle. It's probably trying to look like a ruby, needs a little bit of cleaning because it does have the exact color of a ruby. Yeah, it's a very good copy of a ruby. So I have a Sarah Coventry for three bucks. Wow, these are really sparkling in the background. Woohoo! All right, what else? Another pair of earrings. The lady that I normally talk to wasn't there today. We call her the jewelry lady. But when she's there, She'll get out her bins, and she'll let me look through anything. She wasn't there today, so I could only look at the counter, which I'll probably include in this video. Um, you probably already saw it if I connected it to it, a clip of the thrift store and what the counter looked like. So this had some kind of mark on it when I was in there. I thought I would take it home and see what the deal was. There's nothing on the front, and I don't think there's meant to be. And it says Marvella. Marvella is a nice vintage brand. I don't think there was something glued to that, although there could have been. But there's really no sign of anything having been glued to them. Hmm. That's an old Marvella. So that's nice. Let me see if they magnet just in case. Yeah, they do. So when they magnet, they're not sterling. Well, that's good. It's got a name on it. This little guy. Hey, I didn't mean to buy this. I think she put this in by accident because I think this is a single earring. I don't know how she got this in my bag, but it's okay. I did look at it, but I told her no. Single earring. Looks to be brass. Or maybe very old sterling. I don't know does look like that might be a, an amethyst, but we'll have a look. Yes, it is an amethyst. And that is a glass. That's what I told her in the store. I said, that's probably an amethyst and a piece of glass. And she's like, oh, thank you. I'm learning things. <laughs> she was cute. So it does need some cleaning. And it's a single earring. Didn't mean to buy that one. Maybe someone can make a pendant out of it or something. So although I'm really not selling things today, I could sell this nice piece with the amethyst for $7. Don't know if it's sterling. There aren't any marks. Um, yeah, it's a nice stone for 7 someone wants that. And I picked up this brooch. I thought it was cute. It's in good shape. Clasp works well. And I'll put that with my vintage stuff. And this ring. I love this ring. Really hoping it's sterling. I think I saw something in the store, like some kind of mark in there. But again, I didn't have my loop. I had a magnifying glass that she lent me. Oh yeah, that's a really worn out 925. Yes. Ooh, I love it. I fell in love with this one, so I know I'm going to fall in love with this one too. 
Hmm, I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> Let's see, let me try to put it on this one. So this one's a bypass, which I love bypass because you can keep, you know, shaping it. Like if I am retaining a little water, then I can make it bigger. If I need it smaller, I just squeeze it in. But this is not a bypass. So this would have to definitely fit right on my finger. And I think that's probably the one. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, now where are you going to go? How about over here? Wow. This I got in a thrift store, too. I think I've told you guys about it before. It's a real pearl, and it is sterling. So don't give up on your thrift stores. They're, they can be pretty awesome. And then I picked up this ring, too, because it was only $3. I have no idea what it is. It does look sterling. And she asked me what I thought this was, and I said, I have no idea. Looks like maybe acrylic imitating a stone. It's really wild. Um, any marks inside? So hard to see in a ring with the loop because the loop is going like straight ahead. It's not bending around any corners. So I don't know if that's sterling. I guess I'd have to test it. Could be really worn away, the sterling mark, or it could not be at all. Oh, this is the thing. It has this little triangle mark on the side, which I thought... If a ring is going to have a mark on it, usually has it on the inside. And there's a question mark in the triangle. Is that wild? So I don't know what this is. If you guys want to leave in the comments, if you know what the maker is, it looks very space age, doesn't it? It's so cool. Let me see what size it is, just in case someone falls in love with it and does want it. But at this point, I wouldn't know what to ask. It's it's like six and three quarters, almost a seven. So that's wild. Not a bad haul at all. I think I got my money's worth for sure. So this is only part of the other thrift store haul from the other day. And there's a little bit of a story with it because... I was having a pretty bad day, but I needed to go to the dentist, and I needed to get there. So, a long story short, I got myself to the dentist, and it turned out to be a good appointment. And then I'm thinking, well, let me go to the thrift store and just see if this thrift store I hadn't been to in a long time. Just take a visit, see what's there. And I'm sitting at the light, and wham, this lady rear-ends me. <laughs> And it wasn't bad, and I felt bad for her because she was, like, doing one of these, like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I did this. Her car was, the whole front of it was smashed, and the back of mine just has a little dent. So, anyway, I made it to the thrift store even after all of that, and I was looking through some things. I think I picked out this from their jewelry cabinet. This beautiful necklace with the rhinestones blue rhinestones. Isn't that gorgeous? And I noticed that the earrings matched, so I bought those. And I was just looking through their little cabinet, and what, there wasn't much there. And I'm seeing if there's a mark on these. It's like a circle, but I don't think it's a mark. Just having a good time looking through, and all of a sudden, this lady comes by. I think she heard me say, or she said something like, oh, you like the old earrings? And I said, oh, yeah. And she said, do you want clip-ons? And I said, yes, I do. She said, I have boxes of them. So she started to bring out boxes and boxes of jewelry, and my eyes popped out of my head. So I just started to put things in another box that she gave me, and there's so much stuff. So let's see what we've got. Let's start with these clip-ons. So they're imitation or faux rice pearls. Pretty sure, right? Yeah. But aren't they nice? Look at the nice size of them. The clips work well. So that was a cool buy. And these bracelets, aren't those cool? These enamel and gold tone with brass. Very 
in good shape. I'm not seeing any name, but that's okay. You usually don't own those pieces. So a couple of bracelets. There's so much in here. I don't know if I'm going to get through it. Oh, this has a name on it. A lot of times I saw a name. This is a Monet brooch with the little faux pearl. Beautifully done. Another brooch with three hearts on it. Don't think it's marked. But it's good quality. So that was cute. And look at these. Oh my gosh, are they gorgeous? This is some nice quality. Beautiful, beautiful clip-ons. Who are you? Do you have a name? Oh my gosh, it looks like... The gold plating is so nice. They're just so chunky and beautiful. Gorgeous color to the pearls. So that's a score. And look at these clip-ons. They are acrylic. But aren't they cute? They remind me of those Monies that I got in the other box that ended up being worth a lot of money. And I did sell them, by the way, on eBay for $100. So these look like those something guard Monies. They do feel cold. They might be milk glass. Could ask Miss Prissy. No, they are acrylic, but super cute, huh? And then there's these. Not sure if Amanda Smith is the real name, but it's never been worn. Nice, really goldy gold color. So I'll check that out and see if that's something. Oops, I lost the little rubber stoppy thing here. To put that in. So yeah, I thought I might just share my thrift store haul with you guys today and maybe get to open that other bag tonight so these are like a silver tone and it looks like um like a big marcasite in the middle i don't know if it is but very cool deco look and they are clip-ons in this sense not seeing any marks but aren't they beautiful that's a cool find I like these. I thought they were very nice quality, silver tone. I think I might have seen the name in here. I'll have to see with the loop. Since I'm just looking at them now with you guys. No name, but sometimes it's going to take me some time to really look over everything for a while. And then all of a sudden you see... A name pop up or a 925 or something. This I think should be a pair of earrings. Yes, look at these. Silver tone, aren't they gorge? And they have two names, I think. These are Trafari. And they are oh, it's some kind of like um, a foreign name, like a Chinese name or something. I can't pronounce it, but I'll have to see who it is. Some designer for Trafari. I've never had a pair of Trafari. I've never had anything Trafari that was made by another designer. So that's exciting. And all of this when I was in a thrift store, just looking, and the lady says to me, do you want clip-ons and she starts bringing out gobs of jewelry now also other people were coming over to see what all the ruckus was about and they were looking through the stuff too which was fine and then there was a lady that was that said to her daughter my son goes on youtube and he said that vintage jewelry can be worth a lot of money and so she's thinking what am i going to pick i don't know anything about this and she was looking for a while. Look at the layers on these. Isn't that awesome? And she picked up a couple of pairs of earrings. 
These are so beautiful. Wow. Green stones. And look at all those layers. That's just phenomenal. The green stone is prong set. I don't know if these are Karen Morgan, but... So after a while, she was so worried about the two pieces she got that... I don't know if they cost like 50 cents a piece. She was so worried about whether she should spend the money on them that I said, why don't you let me take a look? I, I don't know everything, but I can tell you something. And I look at what she has, and she has a solid sterling silver pair of earrings in her hands. And she also has, I don't know, some really beautiful pair of earrings. And I said, you, you have a great couple of items there. You're doing really well. You should get those for sure. So she put the other pair back. I couldn't believe she put the others back. So these are saying something on them while I'm gabbing away. And these are Napier. So these are beautiful enamel Napier, another name. I mean, look at this. I hate to leave the pile sitting there because the camera will want to focus on it. But So she talked to her daughter and she said, oh, I just don't know. And the daughter said, well, I think you should get these because they're sterling. And I couldn't believe she put the others back. They're gorgeous. I'll show them to you when I get to them. These are also Napier. Beautiful, beautiful screwbacks that also flip like this. What a score. This is awesome. And this is an extra one. I just took it because, oh, and she said that, that she has more. And if I find some that don't have the mate, wait for your mate um, to come back. So I need to go back there and see if there's some of the ones that are missing. So we have this acrylic pair, <clears throat> excuse me, with a gold tone clip on. So cute. And look at this brooch. Is that awesome? I mean, imagine going to a thrift store and someone saying, oh, it's the end of the day. Um, do you want to see all these boxes of jewelry? Um, yes. <laughs> this says <clears throat> P-E-R, like P.E.R. I think that's Irwin Pearl Signature, which is a really good maker. Beautiful brooch. Wow. Okay, what have we got in here? So these are clip-ons. They're like a darker gold tone. Oh, they clip them together like that. Oh, and they're marked. They have something on them. It says Japan. So those are cool. Older Japan. I think they go, let's see, if you clip them on your ears this way, then that's how they go. Super cool. So vintage Japan. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is scratchy. I don't know what happened to it. And look at these. Aren't they cute? Little tiny pearls in them. Nice clip-ons again. The brush gold tone in the back. No name on these, but I don't care. They're really nicely made. And look at these hot pink. Can you stand it? I was just like a kid in a candy store. I couldn't believe my eyes. And she just kept bringing bags and boxes out. And I just kept putting them in my own little package. So aren't those just, oh my gosh. That's too cute for reality right there. Too cute for reality. They are just like a brass tone. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And look at these little filigree silver tone. Nice pair of earrings. Let's see if they say anything on them. They don't, but they're very, very nice. First pair of pierced, because I think these were mostly all clip-ons. Peach colored clip-ons. How adorable. Can you imagine having an outfit on and putting those cute earrings on? <gasps> They're so cute. I can't stand them. Just little button earrings. Oh my gosh. I love vintage. And let's see. These. So much in here. Okay, where's the other one to this? 
we might have to wait for his mate. This is a little white glass and gold tone. Taking a peek for a mark. Not seeing one yet on that one. Where's your buddy, huh? Oh, maybe it's in the box. Not sure. Okay. No, that's not the, the buddy to that one. Wow, I thought I had all the pairs. Okay, so then we have these little nautical sort of knots, and they do have a mark on them. You see it? And that's a pair of Monet. Score again. I think these were maybe 25 cents a piece because when you see how much I got, you're not going to believe it. It was just, oh my gosh, it was my day, even though I got hit by a car and all that. And I had a hard time getting to the dentist. It was a blessing, such a blessing. So these have really nice rhinestones in them. They're gorgeous. Clip-ons. Really beautiful. They must be crystals because... They're just giving every kind of color you can imagine. So we've got some navy blue hoop earrings. I love it when they do that. <clears throat> when they, I'm <clears throat> so sorry, when they bend, but they still do the screw back. And these are marked Napier. Score again. Look at this pile. Isn't this great? Look at these gorgeous hearts. Can you stand it? Look at those pave crystals in there. Oh my gosh, they are in like perfect condition. Well, they are, you can tell they're older inside, but they just need a little clean. Oh man, how could those not be marked? They're so beautiful. Just stunning. Total score, huh? And then I got these. These were cool looking for sure. So if you clip them this way, these look really nice. And these had a name on them too, which I couldn't see in the store. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are Givenchy. Whoa. Paris. These are a real score. So these are definitely like an eBay sale. These are going to be expensive. This is so awesome. Like 25 cents. What a day it was. What a day. So exciting when you find nice things. These beautiful red enamel clips and they have a name on them and they say Monet. Awesome, huh? Look at these. I couldn't believe these. I kept staring at these. I don't know what they are. They do appear to be glass. And they look really old. They have a really tiny screw back on them. They definitely need a bath. Or a bath. I think they are glass because there's a little bit of chips on the end. And there's bubble, bubbles in them, so that's glass. That's beautiful. It's looking like a, you know, a red star sapphire or something. Gorgeous. Oh, and there's the other one. Wow, they're so beautiful. Super, super beautiful. I love the prongs on there. I don't know who that maker would be, but somebody... Wow. And then we have these sweet little pearl earrings, and these look like real gold to me. They just have that look. And I did quickly rub them together, and they are pearls. So I knew they were real pearls. But let's see what they might say on them, because you're going to see it before I will. So I have to look in the loop. Maybe I can get the camera to focus on the jewelry while I look. 
14K, baby. All right, so 14 karat gold pearl earrings. They're beautiful. Isn't that beautiful when you see a real pearl? The luster and the gorgeousness of it. They're just such treasures. And 14 karat gold, you can't go wrong there. I wonder what those are going to go for. Nice, so nice. This was something, I don't know, I saw it in there when I was picking up the earrings. So I asked her if she could put it in the bag, and she did. She was so sweet. It does look like um, aquamarine or something. So that's for this box. I'm going to try to very quietly put them in there. And make a super nice thumbnail with all these. Because we are not done at all. Okay, that's that. And then we have this box. Look at these. Do you believe it? I'm in this thrift store just... She keeps handing me boxes and I just keep filling them up. Thinking, this can't be real. I mean, can this be real? Look at this. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's take a look. So this makes me think of like Juliana, although I don't know much about them. I think if they were Juliana, they wouldn't have as many rivets like that, but I don't know. I just know they are gorgeous. Look at all that beautiful glass, faceted, beautiful clip-ons. So we got those. And these clip-ons are really sparkly crystals all around the outside. Not seeing any marks yet, but I'll have to take some time. They do need to be cleaned, but wow, they're sparkling already without even being cleaned. They are so shiny. So they did a good job, whatever they did. And it's a black square inside, and I don't know if it's onyx or what it is. It really looks onyx. Another beautiful pair. And then we have these gold tone shells. Clip on again. Most of these are clip ons because that's what she said. Do you want some clip ons? Can you imagine what else she may have in that store? I don't even know. I've got to go back. And look at these gorgeous little gold ball clip ons. All right, I wonder if I should do something else with the camera so it's not so crazy. Yeah, that looks good. So, yes, just beautiful gold tone. They look real gold, but I'm not seeing any marks yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. But I'll have to clean them up because you never know. Oh, I could always do the little magnet. Yeah, they do magnet a little bit. Okay. Look at these gorgeousness. Wow, purple stones, all these crystals around them again, silver tone, so beautiful, wow, I'll just see quick if they're glass, yes, they are glass, aren't they beautiful, and we've got these, gorgeous like amber color, gold tone little flower shape and all oh, these are old wow these are austria crystal wow 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 that's beautiful open them very carefully because of those little leaves austria crystal earrings so beautiful austria crystal gets a lot of attention because as you can see they're just beautiful beautiful crystals those are really old and we got another cutie little pair of gold tone it's like a swirly textured dot nice whoa beautiful these are marked 
they say Avon. And they have that carved, is it carved glass or carved? I don't know, I'll have to test that and see. It feels like acrylic that's looking like um, jade, but they're Avon marked. Ooh, nice. And look at these sweet little darlings, the pearl inside. So dainty. I love all the prongs on that little pearl. And the petals. Ooh, these are marked. You get to see before me. If you can make it out. Does that say coral? Yes, a pair of coros. Nice. They're faux pearls, but they are coros. Da da da. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. If you were in a thrift store seeing buckets of this stuff, what would you be thinking? Look at these earrings. I mean, is that beautiful? Gold tone, filigree. Absolutely perfect condition. Wow. They are so beautiful. Such a score. And they are prong set. See the little prongs on the corners? All the stones are there. Oh my gosh. And look at how they're layered like that. Wow. Okay, so that's that box. And then we've got these gold tone, triple, sort of like a heart. Isn't that cute? They've still got the little rubby stoppies on them. Lots of texture on the back. Not sure if there's a name or if that circle might mean Avon also. Could be. Could be a pair of Avon clips. Gee, where am I going to start putting this pile? I'll put them in here. And then look at the size of these. That gorgeous blue stone in there. Can you stand that? Let me see, wipe them off a little. Wow. Oh my, 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 my. They are foil back. And they're, oh, they're signed. Kenneth Lane. Kenneth Lane. Kenneth J. Lane earrings, you guys. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what those go for. So we hugely scored, bending down and getting the other ones, with the Givenchy and the KJL. Just sitting there in a box in the thrift store, and the lady's like, I don't know what to do with these things. Do you want to take these awful things off of my hands? I'm like, oh, sure. I'll be glad to take those off your hands. Wow, would I ever. Silver tone, cute little button clip-ons. Again, like the nautical theme with the rope wrapped around. Very pretty. I want to keep this like my super score box over here. And, well, these are super score, too. I can't say that those aren't, or that those aren't, or that these aren't. These are all super score. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, where was I? We looked at those, we looked at those, and look at these. Oh, can you stand how beautiful now, do these open? No. So they don't have that, like, flexibility, which I think means that they're older than the ones that do. Now, is that a mark, or is it? But, of course, with the AB coding, that came after the 50s. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And we've got this precious darling. And this goes with it. Gorgeous rhinestone earrings, silver tone, wow. And another pair of these beautiful gold, little gold ball clips. These are really nice condition. I'll take some time and see if they have any 
name on them, but I'm not seeing anything right now. Wow, so okay, the next box. These are probably Japan, I'm hoping. They look like that era. I don't see any name, but they're in great condition. Look how precious. Oh, so cute. All right, I'm going to start putting them in that box. So beautiful. Black acrylic, gold tone. And these are pierced, I'm just realizing. So she must have been getting out some pierced earrings. I don't know. I'm not seeing a mark on those, but they are beautiful. And these, I just love that color with the rhinestones. I did know there was a stone missing on this, but I took them anyway because they're just so pretty. I thought maybe someone would still buy them with the rhinestone missing. I don't know. That is glass in the middle. So you never know. I mean, that is a baguette cut stone. Those aren't easy to find. So this one's missing here and this one's missing here, but still gorgeous. Look at these beautiful little leaves with the pearls and these are marked. Nice. They look like really nice quality. And they say Trifari. Gorgeous pair of Trafaris. Another score. Rah, score. Okay, please. Can you? Can you stand it? Look at the beautiful glass. So pretty. Beautiful blue. I mean, my heart was just racing when I was going through this stuff. They need a little bit of cleaning. They have like a green color on the back, but it's not the color of, um, what am I trying to think of? It's not the, you guys are going to put in the comments when I can't think of a word, you're in there typing it. Um, verdigris, it's not verdigris. And these are prongs set. They have some nice long prongs on there. So those are beautiful. And these, I remember looking at these in the thrift store, like that looks like a stone. That is definitely cold and it's a stone. It's on a silver tone clip-on. Don't see any name, but wow, someone would take time to put a stone in there. Let's see what Miss Percy says they are. Wow, they're jade. Jade earrings. That's a pretty nice piece. It's a pretty big piece of jade on clip-ons. Super nice. They do look like they're cracked, but I'm not sure they're cracked any more than their inclusions. So I don't know if that's going to hurt the sale at all, but we'll see. They're still gorgeous. Okay, we got some more. Got this box. And this box has these beautiful blue faux pearl. I love it when they have that little like extra, they leave that little brass on the end. It's adorable. Those are super oldies, huh? Just cute, cute, cute. Let's see, I'll start putting them over there. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And then there's, look at these, black enamel with a pearl inside. These look brand new too. Is that a name in there? Looks like it might be. It is. These are Napier. Look at the quality of them, of course. Only Napier would have quality like that. Super score. Look at those door knockers. Oh, those aren't even earrings. These are shoe clips. The shoe clips are shorter. The dress clips are a longer clip from what I've learned. Nice pair of shoe clips. Score again. I can see something on the back of these already. So let's look at the front. There's silver tone. Pretty wild, like a circle with a 
swirl going through and we'll see what they say. Lisner. Lisner is a good brand. Another score. A pair of Lisner. I mean, I just kept putting things in my box of thinking, wow, this just can't be real. These are really cool. Nice quality. Heavy gold tone clip-ons. Look at these cutie babies. Little pink little dots. So if you put them on this way, oh my. And they do say something on them. What do they say, guys? You can see it. They say... Oh, these are those, like, Richelli, Richelio or something? R-I-C-H-E-L-I-E-U. That's a nice vintage brand, from what I can recall. Score! That's not all. Look at this. Oh my gosh, right? I mean, talk about a score. This thumbnail is going to be incredible. So these... Mm, they have like glue on them and stuff, but I grabbed them anyway because there's a name on them. I figured we could deal with the glue later. They might be something good. And they are ART. ART earrings. So I'll clean those up and see what happens. Nice big rhinestone in the middle. And we've got, oh my gosh, so many beautiful things. Wowzy, wowzy. These look like they're wooden. And they look like they have the queen on them. Wooden earrings? Have you ever heard of that? Pretty cool. I'll have to look those up. And then we've got these little black clip-ons. Uh-oh, what happened to you? Oh, this is just something got rubbed on it. Sweet. It's got like um like a asymmetrical design or cut to it. Cute little babies. Silver tone hearts, like a two-dimensional. See how they stick out like that? I love how they have the the texture on the back and then the heart pops out that's smooth. It's just adorable. No name, but super cute. And these look like the other ones, don't they? But they're not asymmetrical. They're nice and flat. And these are marked. Yay. What do they say? They say Trafari. Another score. Trafari earrings. Love it. These look like that Damascene. Yeah, look at this. All the texture, the pearl there, the leaves, and then these are dangling in the back. That's a lot to it. And they are marked on the back. All in the same day, within like 30 minutes, I found all this. Spain. So these are the Spanish earrings. Super nice. Damascene style gorgeous. Another nice pair of clips. Big button pearl. Super nice condition. Can't believe all these names on them. It's just unbelievable. And that I got through so much of it already. That's hard to believe. Look at these beautiful double pearls. Wow. So sweet and signed. And they say Marvella. Beautiful pair of Marvella. Wow. This is awesome. It is so awesome. Red enamel. Gorgeous. Silver tone metal. Beautiful, beautiful. Super good condition. 
These are like door knocker type. Let's see, I gotta get them going the right way. Yeah, this way. And they're full of rhinestones. Isn't that awesome? They need to be cleaned up a little bit. Not bad though. There were some there that I had to tell her you might want to put those in a bag and not put them next to the other jewelry because, oh, they are marked because they have a verdigris and she didn't really know what that was, but I told her that it would spread all over the other stuff. So maybe you can see that. And they say, oh boy, I don't know, something Boyer? That's not a name I've heard before. Gay Boyer. Cool. So maybe that's a good designer. Gay Boyer. I'll be looking those up. And we have, almost done, these heavy two-tone, silver tone and gold tone earrings. They are really heavy. They're such good quality. I'm not seeing any mark, but Again, I might have to look for a while. Nice, though. Look how cute these white ones are. These are milk glass with gold tone. Screw backs. They look nicely made. They, this one needs a little bit of polish. And they are signed. Wow. Don't say coral. It's another coral. Nice corals. They are really good weight, and I love the milk glass. Then we've got these beautiful cluster earrings, sort of a silver and a white pearl with the gold dots in the middle, and just a very simple little clip on the back. Gorgeous. Enamel, black enamel with some gold swirls in there. Another, I think this might be called more of a huggy earring because they're, they more like hug around the earlobes. Not sure. Nice, for sure. Nice, nice, nice. And these nice pearl ones. That's kind of cool how the gold goes around here but not around here. These are marked. And they do bend out. I'll let you guys see the name. Looks like Napier through my camera. Yes, Napiers. That's a score. And these, I think these are the ones the lady put back. I couldn't believe she put them back. I mean, have you seen anything so beautiful? Look how beautifully delicate they are. Oh my gosh, with that all that filigree. And look at how they go this way. Like, they took the time to put all those prongs around there. I wonder if that's glass. All that filigree. Yeah, it's glass. Silver tone. This looks brass here. But wow. How could she put those back? I mean, you can't go wrong. They're so beautiful. Then we've got these... There's a name on those, too, which is like a, oh, I learned what this drop pearl thing was called the other day, but can't think of it. These look such nice quality. Look at the quality and the luster of those faux pearls and the beautiful gold tone. So let's see who made them. Sarah Coventry. Very nice. Another score. And get ready to faint. Okay, just get ready to faint right now. You're not going to believe how beautiful these are. I mean, get out of town already. I'm so glad the sun is shining in right now because look at these babies. Oh my gosh. They're such a beautiful... Oh, what kind of blue can I say that top one is? It's not cobalt. It's an icy blue. That's what they are. And then if you can see around here, there's several different crystals 
I, I think there's a three-sided one at the top and bottom so you can see how they're constructed aren't those so beautiful look how long the prongs are wow 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 that is a gorgeous pair of earrings i mean i could see a bride wearing those anyone they're so beautiful and what is this why are you in here Oh, it's a beautiful little Rivoli stone. And I grabbed it because I thought maybe I could find the second one. And the back says something on it. Surgical steel. Okay, that's nice. So when I go back, I'll see if there's the other one of these. Because that's a very nice crystal. It doesn't, it doesn't look like your average little piece of glass. It looks like a super nice Swarovski crystal or something really nice so my goodness i guess i'm gonna get to work making my thumbnail and i hope you enjoyed my thrift store haul we'll get to our bag number two of our 37 pound box of jewelry on my next video and i can't wait Look how beautiful that is. So I'll do this, and don't forget, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. I hope you had a good time. I can't really say much about purchasing because I didn't really do any purchasing, anything to sell today. Oh, I did promise someone I would make a jewelry jar. So really quick, I'm going to make one because they've been asking me for one. So we are gonna make a jewelry jar and the name of it is Lori. So let's zoom out a little bit amongst all my goodies. That's gonna be some thumbnail. And this is jewelry from different places. Some of it's from my turquoise videos. The last video I did I filled a jar and everybody wanted it, so I thought I better make another one because lots of people wanted it. So in is going to go this pair of earrings. I'll try to get other things out of the way, but it's so sparkly. It looks like a treasure chest <clears throat> in our Lori jar. A couple of pair, a couple of pair, pair of earrings with some red and some chains. And again, this is all wearable jewelry. It's all in good condition. It's from different videos I've done that either someone didn't finish follow through or whatever. This is a nice ceramic necklace in the blue colors. And this is a really cool wrap bracelet with some howlite on there. Imitation, really great imitation of turquoise although how light is beautiful in itself. So nothing wrong with that. That's in beautiful condition. That goes in our jewelry jar. <clears throat> Named Lori. This is a beautiful necklace too. It's almost like a squash blossom. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice. Uh, like a squash blossom necklace. The stones are beautiful. The chain is not bad. It has a little tiny bit of wear, just so you know, but not bad at all. Well, I better put that to the side so we can get more stuff in there. I like to get as much as I can in there. Next, we have this wrap bracelet as well. Lots of colors, crystals, glass. It's a pretty one, but well, we better put that in after. Okay, and then we've got this ring. It has all the crystals. We've got a really nice, solid, heavy pair of gold tone hoops put in there. A beautiful bracelet, silver tone with red um, enamel on it, I think. Great condition, that goes in there. And you hear me ch chinkling around in the jewelry. 
another faux turquoise on a cord. Great shape. We've got, this is very pretty. I love the colors of this. Silver tone lobster claw. And it has these bright blue and green beads, which is really a nice color combination together in different shapes and sizes. So that's going in there. And look at this bracelet, isn't that gorgeous? Chips of turquoise and seed beads. I think this is magnetic. Yeah, that's a nice strong one too. I almost kept this because I really like it, but I have to behave myself. And we're putting this ring in there. Can't remember if it's marked or anything, but that goes. And I should get this bag away from my microphone. This is a really sweet little bracelet. I love it when there's turquoise and red together. Stretch is perfect, not a thing wrong. Also, you gotta have a good statement necklace, right? That's a pretty one, it's all faceted. Gold tone chain. The chain is in beautiful condition. So that's a nice wearable piece. They're all wearable, of course. This is a beautiful tri-color gold, copper, silver cross with some turquoise. Again, the chain is in wonderful condition. That goes in. I'm gonna put those earrings at the top. Then we have these earrings. Aren't those cute? With all the different little, tiny little beads on them. Gold tone, vintage, nice condition. Oh, I like this, it's so handsome. This is a gold tone, a silver tone with gold in the middle. I think it's a men's chain. It's really gorgeous. I like the big clasp. That is just so handsome. I love that. That goes in. And you gotta have some of these beautiful red stones. Look at this red highlight. Gorgeous. With the copper color beads. And it is on like um. I could probably use a new cord right here, but it's not terrible. It's like an alligator looking leather cord. Those red beads, I just couldn't resist those. That goes in. And also, this is so pretty. The chain is in great, great condition. And look at these, these uh, faceted acrylic, so pretty. I love the big square sort of links just gives it that little extra zing, you know? So we're gonna put these sweet little cat eye earrings in there too. Very pretty. And we'll put this guy at the top. Ooh, I might have to repack it because this probably should have gone down there a little bit more. So these cups are not the same size as the craft cups. These are much bigger. These are my jewelry jar cups. Just so you know. The craft jars are this size and the jewelry jars are this size. They're much wider. You can get a lot of things in there. So maybe that will help by rearranging it. Okay, that goes there, that handsome necklace goes there, and I'll put these earrings on the top. They say genuine crystal. They have little pearls, probably faux, but they're nice, certainly nice. That goes on the top. So there's our Lori jewelry jar. For whoever wants that, we'll do $30 again, just like the last one. And... I wanted to make a craft jar this time too, but there was so much to show you. Oops, there's more things to go in the jewelry jar. There's a little ring, and there's a beautiful pair of earrings. So 
those go in too. The Lori Jewelry Jar is $30. The first person to email about it will get it. And what else? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will put this on the screen so you can screenshot it just in case you do want to purchase when you look at any of the other videos. Just has my email address, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please do send me the video name with episode number, the timestamps of the pieces you like, a brief description of those pieces, and the prices that were given. Then I'll be able to find your jewelry. And someday I'm going to do a video on why I need these pieces of information, because a lot of times people send me a picture and think that I can find their piece of jewelry, and I really, sometimes I can, but most times it takes me way too long. So I'll show you why sometime. We'll do a little video on that. Hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe. And now for real, I'm gonna go make my thumbnail. Tell me which pieces you think should go in the thumbnail, which ones you would put in, and tell me what you think about my vintage jewelry haul. Did you enjoy the vintage jewelry? I think some of you really do. You have certainly said so in the comments. And I'm going to go do my work, and we'll see you next time at the Baubles. Hi guys, Sherry with Blessed Baubles. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a second video with this, but in my jewelry haul, I realize there's still more boxes. I still didn't show it all to you. So I wanted to show you the rest of this. Hope you're having a great day. I'm glad that you're here. And look at these beautiful purple rhinestone earrings. Aren't they gorgeous? With the screw backs on them. So we've got those. And I think these are a little bit broken, but they're so cute. Light blue, bobbly type earrings. I don't think that's a signature. I think that's a texture. But these need to go in the jewelry hospital because it looks like someone tried to fix them, but they didn't glue them in the right place. So we'll see what we'll do with those. But there's also these enamel ones from that thrift store haul that I got so many things in. Some more damascene type earrings. These are like... um like a dusty blue or navy blue and gold tone. And I'm not seeing Spain written on these, but Spain was written on the others. Really pretty with the birds. And look at these beautiful babies. The big pearl drop and sort of, um, you can see what I mean. Like it's not, it's a little, it's a, what am I trying to say? It's a soft gold, but it's also like a bumpy texture. Yeah, like a boulder or something. Now, this is not really clipping that well, so not sure what I'll do with those, but I still grabbed them because they're beautiful. Wow, these are a really nice shape. Beautiful gold tone, the kind that flips open. Oops, and I see a name on these, too. What a score this place was. These are Napier. I mean, how many pairs did I get? I'm going to say, what do you think? Maybe a hundred? Is that too many? Oh, here's our other white one that I didn't know what happened to. I knew it would be somewhere. And then there's these adorable little red glass ball earrings. Also with the name on them. Another pair of Napiers, and these are abalone, and they look like they're on a brass um, ear wire. Now, most of these were clip-ons, so I'm not sure how I ended up picking up some pierced earrings in here, but I didn't care. I just kept on um, putting in my little box what she wanted me to take, so last but not the least... 
This beautiful little pearl drop. Isn't that gorgeous with the black wrapping around? There's a rhinestone at the top. Great shape. Say anything in there? They're so tiny, I don't know. There'd be room to say it. They say it when they want to, though. And this is a two-tone, gold-silver tone. Um, also a pair of clip-ons. So, yeah, I had two more boxes and didn't even realize that I didn't show those. So I'm going to put all these away. And I hope you enjoyed this jewelry haul. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles.